from our day-to-day -day experiences, we would have realized that we generally tend to engage with those with whom we are comfortable. Sometimes there is this tendency in order to do things with the expectation of getting it back in return. And sometimes we also see that we desire to have higher places in society or wherever we go. When we do something, we always acknowledge the fact that we have done it and we assume, we expect others to acknowledge the fact, we expect others to praise us. And in this way we see that today's gospel value and the first reading will tell us that we are doing exactly the opposite of what is expected of us. Yes, today's first reading and the gospel passage will teach us about humility and why is humility important. In the first reading, we have a direct exhortation in order to be humble. Whereas in today's gospel passage, Jesus, with the help of a parable, will explain why and how we need to practice this virtue of humility. And if we have not yet cultivated it, we need to cultivate this virtue of humility. And therefore, as we read today's gospel passage, you may wonder, why does Jesus say, when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame and the blind? Well, let's find that out during today's episode of Tea Time with the Word. But before we can begin our reflection, let us take a look at the readings for the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today's first reading is from the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verses 17 to 18, 20 and 28 to 29. The second reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 18 to 19 and 22 to 24a. And the Gospel is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 14, verses 1, 7 to 14. And therefore, in a way, today's whole readings will dwell on the theme of a synodal banquet. As we know that synod and synodality has been the talking point in the church. And therefore, what it means is that we need to journey with each and every one. We need to listen to the opinions of everyone. We need to respect their views, their thoughts, opinions, and also take in their suggestions in order to make a whole religion, a whole family and community as one which resonates with the kingdom of God. And therefore, we see that in our lives, in our communities and in our families, meals play a important role in any celebration and therefore whenever we are happy or whenever we want to celebrate we see that we always throw a banquet or a party and we see that a banquet is the place for nourishment as well as for sharing because it is at this occasion where we all come together and share our thoughts ideas views etc it also becomes a meeting point a time to catch up on all that was missed from the last banquet and in this way it is the place to meet all our old and also make new friends it also enables us to share news views and strengthen our social relationships with one another so these are all the positive aspects that you can find when we have a social gathering as such but we see that a banquet or a dinner can also be a place where chaos arises due to different and contradicting opinions that are expressed on various matters discussed. We all know that as humans, we tend to be unique and tend to have a variety of opinions. 
and because of this we see sometimes we may get into an argument because we disagree with the opinions of the other but in this way we see most of the time we end up stressing upon our own opinions rather than listening to the opinions of the others and when this happens we see that the others then tend to lose interest this is basically one of the major reasons why the church has decided to take the step to include everyone to listen to everyone because the church is of everyone it comprises of everyone and it is for everyone and therefore listening to its family members is very important and when it comes to the banquet or a wedding feast generally the tendency is to invite dignitaries relatives and friends from our own backgrounds according to our status and most importantly with whom we feel comfortable and therefore we see that this is one of the commonality that is there in society it is a kind of a normal practice and in contrast with this commonality today's gospel passage invites us to do the opposite so in other words we are called to be humble and also to include everyone in our circle not to only reserve it for those of our own status or for those with whom we feel comfortable and therefore we see that jesus invites us to invite the poor the crippled the lame and the blind basically the social unfortunates and the outcasts of society and for this we need to cultivate the virtue of humility and hospitality because only once we cultivate these virtues only then we will be able to invite them and accept them into our fold now when we analyze today's first reading we see that the virtue of humility is very much stressed because it is said that the humility of a person is much more than that of a person who gives free gifts so if you are humble people will feel comfortable with you people will be able to gel well with you and this is what we desire in life in order to be welcomed in order to make the other person comfortable we need to be humble secondly in today's gospel passage we hear the parable wherein jesus says that when you go to a banquet or a wedding feast do not take the highest positions in other words he invites us to be humble so he says if you take the highest positions and if there is another dignitary who comes they may tell you to vacate the place and give it for the dignitary and therefore he says you may be embarrassed but if you take the last place you will be then told to go in front and in this way common sensically we can see that this is something which generally happens in our day to day lives so if we are able to practice humility in small things then it will not be difficult for us to practice it whenever it is needed the second and the most important aspect of today's gospel passage is that jesus invites us to involve everyone not only those with whom we feel comfortable and therefore this is basically the theme of the synodal year include everyone listen to everyone because sometimes you may be only attached to those of our status those with whom we feel comfortable but jesus says no you need to accept everyone and it is only when you reach out to those unfortunates then you are able to practice humility and therefore as we reflect on today's readings as we prepare ourselves in order to help jesus in building the kingdom of god let us pray that we may cultivate this virtue of humility so that all our actions may be humble and that we may be able to practice this virtue of humility together with all our efforts and thus help in building the kingdom of god amen